make as the series does unfold. Of course, the famous one being that of this same place, same time last year. Can they do it in this best of five? Are we going to see them with this draft take a game back off Liquid, or are Liquid going to keep the lead? They've got a lot of comfortable things coming out for the side OG, right? We have Ana on a le his legendary Ember Spirit. We have Thompson on his Master Tier Monkey King, of course. Master Tier! In a good matchup. At, well, what the players used to say was a good matchup. I know a lot of them talked about that Monkey King versus TA back when you could get the refraction tonight with your denies. Now you have to imagine it's even better for the Monkey King. So Thompson should be able to have a good time there versus Weeha in the mid lane. This last pick Enigma, though, very interesting one. I loved what they mentioned on the, on the panel there. I think Kai was the one who said it out. Heavenly Grace makes it really hard for you to set up for kills, but Black Hole cannot be produced because that status just does not work. And there's no cancels, of course, on the side of OG through that BKB that will be coming up for the Enigma eventually in this game. It's really quite a bit of harassment to see there. You've certainly got to watch out for, for what GH is going to be able to bring to the game. But overall, Liquid, once again, now having this TA, having sort of a uh, obviously, this time the Weeha TA, we're going to see it in a bit of a different capacity, but they, they've got still this sort of similar idea, right? This whole fight that can go down with the control that Mind Control and GH can offer that will just give the time and space for Miracle and Weeha to just disassemble their opponents. Yeah. It's all about the team fights really coming into play right, when you start getting caught these later stage games of TI. And we see right away. So a lot of the times we've been seeing the Enigmas, they start in the Radiant jungle. This time he's Radiant, so it's a lot more natural for him. So we see Jerex, he puts a ward inside of the jungle to block one of those camps in that triangle area down in the Radiant jungle. But it actually was spotted. Liquid had already prepared down here with this off ward to see everything that's going to be happening. They actually know that that camp is warded. So GH is probably going to stay playing up top for the time being and just keep the nine creeps in. Talk about up top. Tail. They've got the shackle set up. Mind Control chasing no tail down. Will be able to get back underneath the tower. In fact, Anna's going to turn. Chase down Mind Control. And they'll get first blood, OG. As Liquid try and force the issue a little too hard between the two of them up top. Give first blood to the safe lane, Ember Spirit. And then it's out. That was the thing, right? Grimstroke turns. No tail. He doesn't die. He salves up. He's back up to full. And this is the one thing about when you go for the gush on the tide is you're going to try to set up for those kills, but you're a lot more vulnerable. He has a stout shield, but Embersburg, he, he can hit pretty hard. Same thing with the Grimstroke, they can easily turn. Down in the spot on lane, Miracle. He's going to be farming up against the Seb Omni Knight with that backup of Jerex at his side. Obviously with GH being in the jungle at the top, it is going to be Miracle entirely on his own for the most part. He'll get pressured a bit down here just from those tossback plays. He should be able to catch up decently, but the thing is that Omni does pack a bunch, pack a decent punch as well onto that left healer himself. Jarex is just going to keep being annoying too. This is multiple mangoes. Another right click, another tossback, quick heal probably. Actually held on to it this time. We'll see what itemization that Sam does. I think an Orb of Venom proves to have an incredible amount of value, actually, in the bottom lane, because then you can leave the Omni Knight a bit, and then you can actually right-click and trade with the Life Stealer. So I definitely want to see Sam go for picking that one up, as I think he, he actually did just buy it. So he will be able to put the pressure onto Life Stealer, just give him that extra right-click, because your Rage is not really an element that you have to worry about when you're going to be pressuring. I want Sakuro down here now to just offer some sort of way of alleviating the pressure of these two heroes, keep the distraction high so that Jerex isn't able to, to stay in the lane, beating down and, and tossing back Miracle Safe Lane Life Stealer. Yep. We see mid starting to get to that advantage for the Monkey King, constantly getting those Jingu stacks up again onto Weeha, and then you can just secure yourself all these denies. There's a... There's a Tough lane for Weeha. Yeah, but he'll back up in jungle, as the panel mentioned, as we've seen, especially in the other, earlier series of the day. He's always going to be able to catch up. Yeah. Still jungles incredibly efficiently. We've seen him do it many times, and you know, his, his TA really, that he's been able to bring out a lot of the times for, for Liquid, as it seems on the main stage, has always been pretty darn good. Except getting turned out there by Miracle but we'll have to sustain. And now the Orb of Venom is delivered, and this is where he can start to actually push Miracle off the lane with Jarex. Jarex again. Supposed another, to combo. another combo. Doesn't actually choose for the toss back there. Miracle was, you know, out of regen and, and open was happy news, but could have potentially have been a kill. Top lane, Anna. He's actually going to turn, sort of baiting my controller. Look how low he's standing. He's got a slide at fist, oh. keeping himself out of range 
off the anchor smash. Anna just darts himself perfectly around the tide. The flame guard will end, so it won't be quite enough to take Mind Control down immediately, but you've got to imagine there's going to be another slight fist available. Mind Control just south up in the trees. Another stroke hits, but that south will make sure that a slight fist from Anna won't quite kill him off. Still, though, he's out of regen now, Mind Control, so we'll be ballooned out of the top lane. Thompson's really starting to take advantage of this mid lane. He even uses the glyph under the tower, and Weehaz is forced to sit in Mel, healing up with the south. Thompson's really taking over. He loves this matchup. Another thing that this hero provides you is you can dive and chase the TA, but now yeah. GH shows up. GH from the trees. Thompson, he didn't expect this. He's trying to use the mischief to play it out. He's looking for that ball. He cannot get the boundless strike off, though. Great move from GH. That Catches Thompson off guard. He knows that Thompson, as you say, is going to play like this. He's looking for these dives, these plays around the tier one towers. GH is prepared. Super clutch. We definitely get better give him like a big hug or something after that play. <laughs> as he'll be able to go back and continue to jungle as he gets an arcane rune on GH and he's actually saving gold. You see he's queued up, he's got the gloves. He's got the dominator in his quick buy, but I you, think he you might think be he's, contemplating a minus. He's he's thinking about it. I won't be surprised we're at four and a half minutes in and being that close to it. Yeah, especially after getting setting up for that kill. We will see Thompson go right back to the mid lane though and we'll be able to continue pressuring Weehawk quite easily as that monkey came with the matchup. And they'll certainly have to, to be aware of the potential of GH maybe coming across again. Obviously with that ward that OG do have down that they placed earlier in the jungle, they'll see any movement from that kind of angle. GH will start to, to have a bit of a poke on the Jax. Crew trying to go for the shackles, but with the avalanche already out, Jax will not be held down. Looks like he won't be the Midas. He buys boots, buys clarities. He's just going to jungle. It looks like he wants to actually move okay. around and make plays because he's got the points of the Malefice already. Maybe he wants to just be more active around the map and be able to respond to the aggression that yeah. he knows that OG's going to do, right? You know how OG's going to play. You know Thompson is going to do well in the laning phase and then he's just going to run around and try to set up kills all over the place. So being able to respond quickly, that looks like it's going to be the approach for GH. And he's got relatively good cause to do it around, right? Yes. Other cause that offering Weeha's case a good bit of damage. And down bottom miracles case that extra bit of slow and disable mid lane thompson look at the balance of we are trying to commit there's the wraparound jerex comes in with the gang tosses back we are as he tries to go in for that kill attempt will not get away with it og able to easily turn it around with the three at the mid see the way for the six minute runes OG, again, you see how much they prioritize those power runes early on. Jax is going to be the one that's able to grab a haste rune. Level three, so has got the levels to try and make a bit of a play on Kuro. Diving him underneath the tower, Kuro. He'll stand with the shackles. Another and blast, first. but Jarex just has the combo damage, bringing him down. Ooh. Snake charges from Kuro, though. Actually keep him alive, and now the haste rune is worn out. A miracle, right. he's in for the free kill. He did not do the math. Kuroki did, though. We'll see him under though, top. Both carries getting a bit of action. Top lane, Anna and Notel. Able to set up for another kill for that safe lane. Ember getting in behind the tier one towers. Well, those three points of the slider fist. Now with the six, the remnants are, as well. He hurts. Yep. It's a dangerous lane for mind control to return to. And they really love playing this Grimstroke combo with these melee heroes that can quickly get on top of targets with that high level ink swell. We will we'll, we'll probably still see an early level Phantoms embrace. So I think that's another reason why they picked it versus the Tide. Heading in GH. So annoying, but Anna should be okay. He's got the remnants like you were talking about. GH not quite with the mana at all to offer a black hole follow up. It's Jax. Keep tabs with Weeha, don't let him just freely jungle. As I, I feel like every time we've seen Weeha actually playing in the eyes of this Templar Assassin, he gets away with he gets away with murder in the jungle. He just sits there farming it over and over again, doesn't get pressured. OG is not gonna give him that option. Three cores of OG are farming very well. As to be expected, you're playing versus an Enigma draft. That's kind of, if you're not doing well in the early games, you're not doing well in the laning phase, you're in a big amount of trouble. So they are quite ahead there. And my control is starting to get punished quite a lot up top, as we saw from Ana, as well as Grimstroke of No Tail. I love the scan from, from Liquid that does reveal that No Tail's hunting behind the tier one. Heading over towards the direction of GH. She's going to look to get another ancient stat guy. Didn't quite manage to make it happen there. Oh, Notel blocked it, I'm yeah. pretty sure. Yeah, so they're sitting on just the edge of the square, Notel. Yep. As top though, Ana, he's just looking to keep pressuring onto my control here, but my control will be able to step away. Notel. He does want to try and go for this with my control being as low as he is. Cannot close the gap with the ink square. Oh, that's a beautiful knuckle. GA just casually stands in position. 
isn't even out to move for it. As they just pull that down. Adams trying his best to get away with the red, and now he will be able to escape. As that, that nearly was a huge disaster for OG losing two. They're lucky that Anna was able to get out of there. They're lucky that Jerex was close enough to get an avalanche yeah. there. Otherwise, he's very likely he, to die. He would have been dead. He really would have, but as it is, Anna lives. Only no tell. And when he comes back, he can full heal Jerex as well. So they can look to make an aggressive play up here. I mean, yeah, they're very immediately important. back over. Now they know they can be extra aggressive, right? There's no black hole. Yeah. Very important that Anna survives there. But great, I mean, GH so far in this game. As an Enigma who's jungling, able to put so much pressure on the map. His positioning has is, is always been where, where, where he would ideally be. Yeah. Where his team needs him to, to be standing, GH is there to ready to hold their hands. He's got that Dominator build finished. So we will have that creep always running around, probably just stacking camps for the early game and then going to start looking to set up kills. Because it is a Centaur Conqueror, so it is one of the better ones to actually set up for those ganks. And mid, they really want to sandwich on Kuroki. Straight in, but Kuroki is going to have to charge the turn and put the shackles. They're doing their best to keep Anna alive. Big 12 buffs up, and there's the stun. Connecting on a GH, they're ready to die for more. Thompson straight down behind the tower, jumping for a loop. The GH stun for the central conqueror with the help of the dominator. It's keeping GH finally in the full wing as Thompson gets it. We have no time towards OG. They managed to take away two. They'll continue to chase. They will lose no time, but Thompson's back over. Barely strikes down. It's around the TA. We are surely will fall. No, they don't have detection. He's got the mail. He'll stay hidden. A go for Kuro instead. Miracle. Just a chase for more. Another stun indeed from the Central Conqueror. The micro making it real, but Miracle still has to be careful. The Rage has finished and Anna's flame guard still persists as they'll chase into the trees. Thompson's got the lockdown. Badly strikes out. Miracle will fall. OG. The three core is just running around as a unit right now for OG. <laughs> Looking to kill everybody. Look, look at the map right now. I mean, they're thinking about going the, the lanes are all open. Oh. They're just battling. He's having to chop the tree down. Mind control. Look at the lumberjack plays. Gonna see if he can try to oh, Ravage does get the three of them. Seth's getting burst low. Heals out in time. We are comes across. Hex lock downs there for Kuro. They'll get Thompson. They quit. Can they punish OG even more for diving with this? The Inkswell side of fist again. Mind control. He's done that. The flame guard. The slide of fist damage is too much for them. This early on. Kuro. In, and we have 10 heroes duking it out in the it. ancient area. That's what we want to see. There's farm in every lane. Bounty runes are spawning. I think every single game that we see, it's like, guys, bounty runes. Every team starts running over to bounty runes at those five minutes. Not this game. These teams are just bringing the battle to each other. And I think that, you know, this is why these teams were so excited to face each other in oh, the absolutely. grand finals. You know, the Kuro and Nota, they wouldn't have it any other way than to meet face to face in the best of five grand finals. I feel like we hear the teams talk about this a lot when they get to the later stages. They're like, I, I want to play versus this team. And they're like, why do you want to play versus this team? And it's like, because they like to just fight and we like to fight and that's what makes Dota I mean, OG's already eyeing up the chance to get back over. It's constant. GH. They're diving. Change of there. Seven no over with the back of GH. He is going to struggle to hold them off. But get him in that pulse down. The purification burst from Sebs is enough to bring him low enough. No tail getting the finishing blow. As OG, as soon as Liquid kill them all, get them back over to the base. They are straight back over, keeping the pressure on. We'll see here, fantastic turnaround from Liquid with that Ravage, and then of course that beautiful ending. Kuro able to get that kill on Anna, all on his own. And all little things too, right? That root, even the Dark Troll Summoner that GH controlled, and he gets the net onto the Omni Knight, he can't actually get into Heavenly Grace and protect targets. So no, I mean, GH every little thing matters. This, this Helm of Dominator, I don't think I've seen anyone use it as well as GH has been able to in these first 12 minutes. Yeah. The micro has been absolutely on point. And we're 9 to 9, less than a 1k difference. At just under 13 minutes in between OG and Liquid in this game, too. You can feel the you can feel the way that OG is playing. It's that they, they want to punish the greed. Liquid went for greed. They've got minus on the life sealer. They have an enigma. There's wrath. OG wants to just keep this battle running at them. It's very OG like. They just want to fight. This is to have vision with the rest of this water. Thompson set up perfect from the trees. Wukong's command down. Boundless strike already used. It doesn't matter. He's able to jump forward. Look to 
to chase Miracle. Miracle does get the juke on. Now it's the move of speed with the face boost. He'll get himself out across the trees. They'll still try and chase. Thompson Pound is still unavailable for six seconds. So Miracle will actually be able to escape. GH, he comes forward. He starts to have a bit of a pump. Stuns up. Anna, he's in with a wraparound. Change around. Bowler the strike back up. Slam down onto the Enigma. GH is gone. But they're diving up to one. Tears breathe. Oh, deep. They're in the base. They get my control as well. Screw this. Every single tower up in the mid lane, but oh gee, they're taking the fight to the base. Dude, look at this. Look at this. this all the lanes are open. All they're trying to do is battle. We as well get caught out. This is ridiculous. And now they're going to say, okay, now they're priority. All right, now we've sandwiched onto a tower. Now we can go for this one. Well, yeah, that's, hey, does anyone else want to take a tower? Yeah, I've got to go on then, Seb. Yeah, let's go on then. We'll take some of these, these objectives. We can hold back on the killing for a little bit. 13 to 9, OG able to break a little bit ahead there with that play. I don't think I've ever seen a game, something like this in a game though. Where and it's, in it's a grand just, finals of TI. Exactly, they're literally just ignoring lanes. Lanes are there open for heroes to farm, but who cares about farm? Look at this, the three cores of OG, they see life still on the map, all three of them immediately run to bottom. They're like, get him! That shows. He has to hide. They want to collapse, Rage and a TP will do it. Nowhere to hold him down. Miracle's out of the neighborhood. And they'll set up for this tower now. That's how, well, I guess there's no kills to be had around here. We've got to take the tower. So yeah, Anna that's... will reluctantly take it. But they're going to battle top. They see my control for a second. All right, here oh, we go. A kill has been spotted. Let's have a look. Ravage is available as well as the black hole if GH gets over. Toss back underneath the tower. My control starts with the anchor smash. Thompson has already got the Dingu built up. Avalanche control on my control causing issues. He needs the rest of his team to get it. They're not going to come. My control is going to be left for dead. Oh my god, just relentless. Just relentless running at them. They're really trying to punish the green. I think that's the biggest thing to point out here is that OG, they do not want to give any type of low period. When you look at Liquid's draft, it's a slow paced draft that's based off of cooldowns. They don't want Weeha to get, be able to get away with murder like we were talking about earlier about going to the jungle and just farming. No mercy. As another tower, they'll find this one here because they're in this lane looking for kills. So another tier one, but it gets denied. Good play there from Nota. Gets the silence out before rage is available. Stopping Miracle from being able to commit through the stun. Phantoms and Brace could catch a lot of things off guard here on the Liquid Draft, like we mentioned, versus the Tidehunter especially too. That Kraken Shell can be very annoying to play against if you're versus Phantoms and Brace. Just constantly applying that silence on yourself. I need that Dessa done on we are. Then, the, then, you know, it becomes a little scarier to keep this aggression up. But until that point, OG, they're going to move forward. But GH from the tree line, back holds down as well as Seb will. Seb will be able to offer up the GA, but Mike controls Ravage, caps the two of them. They've got the lockdown, shackles around, tops are surrounded. The top of the battle is shot, but the fourth will kill him off. Anna's going to jump in. They want to try and make sure they can find the trades. Who can they get? H12 stuff, connects on the mic control. They're on top of them, burning them down with the flame guard, but Liquid, they're holding themselves close to the wards. Saying, you can come, you can come, OG, but OG, they won't fall for that trap. They won't force the fight any further. They've lost Topson. That was three ulties for Topson, though. That's Black Hole. I mean, it, it is top. Serpent he's, Wards. He's quite a high-value player. That's uh, very true. <laughs> But the location where they get it right, you can tell that OG, they're the ones dictating the pace, forcing reaction after reaction after reaction by Liquid. Force him to use literally triple ultimates to kill their mid laner because they have that Omni Knight behind him. Now we're doing Desso for Weeha. He really needs in this game. For Miracle, needs that armlet done up yeah. to the Midas then. Then you have two cores that you really have to be careful about diving upon as OG. My control, he's been spotted. Thompson they want him. Found him alone. As again, Thompson and Jerax able to find these quick and easy pickoffs. Kuro is going for the TP out. Anna has not got any disable backup to hold him out. So Kuro will escape. But Thompson, as soon as he's taken out of the game on the top lane, he is straight back in and he's killing people already. Yep. It's not time. They even smoke. Look at this. He kills bottom, the line is drawn. They just want to go, go, go. This is a beautiful pace that OG's bringing out here in game two. They have a 3k lead. They'll know that they're around. Take out the op toward as well. Thompson will kill it. But there aren't those big ops, as you mentioned, straight in towards the tier two tower. Anna has no fear as he collapses immediately on top of the TA. We are surrounded. The control that no tail offers is too oh much. God. But we are to withstand at the moment. Jump forward over towards Kuro. Anna just loving the pace that he can play with Thompson by his side, running down hero after hero as OG just keep the kills a coming. 
they're just yeah, they're just moving too fast. The, the pace that they're setting is just too quick for Liquid to respond right now. My controls is being look at my controls net worth. I don't think I've seen that almost ever. He is bottom three net worth. Bottom at three, bottom of the sea. One six. Five, six. He's got to try and get himself up to some shallower waters. As he. He's got a big recovery to do. Sure, we've seen he can still make very impactful plays with the Ravage alone at the moment. This, that's too fast of a pace though still. OG, if they have anyone, if they have their cores together, which they've pretty much been doing all the time, it's so hard to bring them down. We see how hard Heavenly Grace counters all of these disables that do come out. On the hunt, a miracle will be able to get away with this play every time. Rage CP, nothing to stop it. Liquid's trying to find any type of place to farm in very unexpected places. Look at where my control is right now, and look at where GH is. Oh, this is them just being like, OG seems to just know where we are on our side. Let's take the farm well, from their side. That's the thing, right? They know that OG is. It's just looking for fights. Look at it. Yep. They're, they're fighting up towards tier threes. This is literally where OG doesn't want to be. They don't want to be on their half of the map. That's, nope. that's defensive, slow, and boring. So that does give this space. And Liquid's starting to make a bit of use of it. OG into the pit, is spotted out by the Weeha trap. Yep. Can got... they do anything with it? They've got Black Hole and they've got the Wrath. Yep, they've got their ulties available. OG, they have their Guardian Angel as well, but Seb is relatively low on mana. They stop the rush and they're like, oh, heroes have been spotted. Go for the fight, Miracle is in the mid lane. They're gonna go for Jump on Miracle, instant rage and a back off. Still, they managed to sandwich them. If Liquid can get the Tide and the Enigma in, they could go for a good fight from the low ground. Kuro, Miracle. Sable, he traps up no tail in the circle wall. Miracle's the focus, Miracle will fall. They're walking over my control, trying to get around the company card, but Alice strikes out. No time. Alice was embraced again, no tail. Stopping the mic drop will be able to offer the ravage for now. And Anna and Thompson, they're still good to go. Dust is out. They've got the detection prepared. We are left behind. They take a both board. They're going to get the third as well by the looks of Izuki. Oh they jump over, catch out by control. And they'll also toss back in GH as OG. They just keep killing oh every God. single member of Liquid over and over again. They're playing the fights perfectly. The execution of these fights it's, is absurd. Right it now. doesn't get any better than this from OG. It's 31 kills at the 21 minute mark. They're just, uh, sorry, at the 20, 20 minute mark, they're running around, bounty rune spawn. They just kind of fake that roast a little bit. They know. They're like, oh, there's a TA trap in here. They have to know that they're versing a TA, and they have to know there's traps in there. And, you, and then they just bring the fight as soon as Liquid shows a member. Yeah. They don't care. They get the boundless strike when it looks like my control's trying to get a perfect ravage, and then he gets silenced, and from there, it, 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 it's so hard. He knows exactly. A bug on mind control. Bam. Yep. They cannot do anything. You saw GH moving as well. And Mind Control gets that Ravage off. GH is able to get in with a black hole. Maybe they limit the casualties. Maybe they, they're able to at least bring someone down with them from OG, but it's not the case. OG using every spell in the right order and on the right target. Yep, and they're itemizing really well now, too. We see Seb, he went for the Medallion early on into a Vlads. And what are we looking at on the side of Liquid? It's pretty much, I mean, they have, magic, they have magical damage, too, but the Templar Assassin is really the one that's going to be dealing all that damage on their lineup. And he's... He's going to have a much harder time versus a Solar and Vlad's on being thrown on the target that he's focusing. And again, the, sort of the, the chaos of these fights, you know, sure, it's, it's sort of been a group effort, but look how well they're able to prioritize their main man. Anna, he's only died the once in all of these engagements. He's 7, 1, and 11. So despite the fact that sometimes you'll see Thompson fall, they're throwing bodies in, they're getting so much done that Anna is able to benefit. Oh. And it's like Thompson's not farmed. He's actually ahead of Anna in the farm here. He has a Radiance with the Echo Saber already finished. Excuse me? Versus a TA. This is a Radiance versus TA so early on. This evasion. 21 minutes in. Of, of the Radiance onto that refraction as well. It's going to prove to be super problematic. And even versus Blink Daggers. That's the other thing that we know that Thompson, why he really likes Radiance, is when you throw down your Wukong's command, all of your individual monkeys get the Radiance oh, in yeah. that or AoE. So getting Blink Daggers and blinking and ravaging and causing chaos is near impossible. You cannot escape it. You no, need you the cannot. BKB and Blinks if you want to try and make a jump. But even then, you're still going to be slowed down in the way that you had to commit with them. Yeah. As Rocha, OG's in the pit, no chance of Liquid heading over. As Anna will claim the Aegis. And with 3k gold towards his next item. My control hide. They, they saw him for a second. He's got the TP. Uh -oh. Obviously got ways to cancel it, OG. I don't think. Oh, he's brave. My control's getting out of this one. He shows himself, they get a glimpse of him. And it's just more and more gold and glory for OG. 22 and 10, 22 minutes in. This is the OG you expect to see after they go down a game in game one. They are relentless with the pressure that they're applying. No mercy.
you pick a greedy draft first them, you know that this is the way that they're going to play. Just running around looking for non-stop plays, especially when they have Thompson on Monkey King and Ana on Ember. These are just incredibly fast-paced heroes. It's been found again. They get the combo in. He's not able to get the rage off. The Phantom Embrace for no cell, along with that combo. Leaves no chance for Miracle, Miracle to get out of there. And now they can start looking for some towers. It's got to that point again when OG said, all right, we're done enough killing. Let's get some more objectives. Tier 2 tower in the middle lane will be taken. Weehar's doing his best. They keep that top lane pushed out. Has the blink of the death, so, so can try for these plays. Bottom lane, GH and mind control. They're eyeing up Thompson. But he's got Sab. And then, oh, look, Heavenly Grace. 2,500 health. Monkey King walking around. No fear in the world at all. As we hope. Oh, oh, he's, he's in position. That's going to allow Thompson to close the gap. And we are. There's a radiance. They do not have detection, but he is slowly burning. They've got another toss he's, as well. Oh. This is. Oh. 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 Burnt. Burnt to pieces. This is Burns to smithereens. Is out of control Ooh. by OG right now. That's a painful way to go. As OG, you you can feel the magic that they're bringing right now. Look this is what has brought them to this point in the tournament. This is this is why they are your defending champions. If they turn it up, if they hit this right sort of pattern of plays. And look at this mic draw. He wants something, just anything. Stop. OG. And making this game two hurt, but liquid. This, this is painful right now. This is just, this is just a beautiful. Act. Look at the damage coming out from the cores. To have that much damage, just to hear it at 24 minutes in, this is ridiculous. Yeah. Just keeping all the aggressive moves, like you said, Liquid. They were trying to even move the Nygma, move the Tidehunter out onto the OG side of the map, but OG's like, no, we're gonna keep all the aggression onto Liquid's side. Don't let them get any breathing room in this game. Put down deep aggressive wards, and just keep keep running at him. Don't let Miracle get this Radiance online. He's almost got it, though. That's the one thing. Miracle has his phase, has the Midas, has the armlet, and will soon have that rad. But the rest of his teammates are so far behind. And a TA, when you're playing from behind like this, is incredibly difficult when you're versus these natural oh, yeah. I mean, well, He can't show his face in the fights, Weeha. And they, oh, remember, when they open with TA, you're setting yourself up to this. OG, they they like triple down to make sure they have things to do with him. Omni Knight is an incredibly good hero versus TA at all stages of the game. It's Jerex, he's already prepared bottom, waiting for the next kill to set up. See, oh. They already got TPs coming. In come the TPs. Jax, he's in with the setup. He'll still get the blink off, did have enough charges left on the refraction to get it out. And he's going for the TP away. They will not catch him. So this time, Weeha will get himself away from this terrifying squad from OG. But he's just moving from lane to lane. You cannot show your face without the expectation of three heroes immediately collapsing on you. Anna. Anna. Vision here. As they'll get in with the setup, Kuro tries his luck, tries to get out, do a oh. warning for the team. Jarrix has also found Mike Draw. Anna's still diving in towards the base as we are. He gets to the street. We are. Tries to turn with the mountain here. Tops is there with a the balance strike. We are. He's just dying inside the base. Yeah, yeah. This mobility is. It's just absurd. Ember's Bird and Monkey King, they're everywhere. You cannot set up anywhere on the map. I, you I, just I, get across the map too quickly. I feel like we're, we're just saying that you cannot let OG have these two cores together. They just play off each other so perfectly. The timings that these heroes hit, they're just on top of you at the same point of the game, and it just doesn't slow down. Yep. Bit of a timing window here for Luke. Oh my god, Miracle. Dropping solo. They've got Blink Dagger on the Tidehunter now. But Jarex actually, I believe, countered. Hey, yeah, I think he counted his TP. Up top, my control can't get back to the base. He cannot. Chase her out. And now Thompson's cutting off the escape route as well already. There's no tide for the defense. As he can run, he could, for it. he could deal with the creep wave, but he's not going to be able to head back and help out if a fight does kick off in the middle. As they'll find him, they'll chase him. Monster kill for Thompson. It's. My God, it's it's incredible to see how hard OG is punching back after that game one loss. They're they're really just giving no room to Liquid at all. No room in the map. Constant mobility, constant running around, constant fighting. And Miracle, like we said, he's kind of farmed. They have the BKB on the Enigma as well with that blink on the Tide Hunter. But OG, they have a 15,000 gold lead, a 20,000 experience lead, and they have given what? I think they've only given OG one or two towers in the last 10 minutes and no kills. There's a full Scotty on Thompson. 
and 20 minutes. It's this game, I think it is entirely on GH and Mind Control to make some incredible five-man play. That's yeah. the only way right now. That is really how it feels. And they have they have the BKB Black Hole, which is not counterable from OG, at least with the stun. But OG getting tanky. In. Yeah. And getting into them as well, right? If they have the Wukongs down, laid down, he's going to die yeah. if he gets that Black Hole off. He, he will. And now also, they've got a better way to heal each other and help each other. There's an Aghanims on Seb. So that Guardian Angel is going to provide that massive amount of HP regen as well as that protection from wherever he's going to be to pop it off. I don't think they're going to have the damage to deal with OG at all. Miracle trying to push into Thompson, but with the eyes of the Thompson has and the boss that he does, Soul finds out they're gonna try and jump forward. The Wukong's come on, now Mind Control is off the rabbit. The GH on the other, goes to the crack hole. GH pulls though, he's stuck inside the Wukong. Three dead on Liquid. OG just beating them down one by one. The Vibrax will come out for both Kuro and Miracle. But both GH and Mind Control are gone without their ultimate and without buyback. The game continues to worsen for First, on top of Miracle, Thompson again back into the battle. This triple kill for Thompson. Wow. As OG, this entire game has been a high reel for them. We are, he gets something. It's a lot of money, of course, Adam. So that's a little bit of glory for Liquid. Oh, Jerex. It will go down, maybe. No, the heal they give the red to Thompson. Extra bit of salt in the wounds there. As they're holding on. They're gonna give them I mean, respect though, they're gonna back up. Well, I feel like OG doesn't mind. They're enjoying this, they're loving this. They don't want this to end. <laughs> they wanna keep playing. They've got such a lead on all three cores. The you know right now in the booth. OG are really enjoying themselves right now. Oh, especially Thompson. 16, three and 14, part of 30 of the 35 kills on this Monkey King. That is insane in this type of game on the finals of TI. Well, he played on Jerax. Everybody's getting their items on OG. Yep. Uh, some luxury ones, of course. But yep. Just not letting, just not letting Liquid get anything. They have a Templar Assassin who is at 11,000 net worth at 30 minutes. You don't hear that very often. Usually, when you hear a TA at 30 minutes, he's going to be peaking at the 18, 15,000, 17,000 gold marks, maybe even higher than that. OG just not allowing Liquid to play with this draft at all. They're sandwiching and closing the map off even more. Picking up those more luxury items and Aghanims now, of course, for Ana too, so he can just be even more mobile. And there's no black hole for 60. Ravage is up in 30. OG, just walk up to this high ground. And another Aghanims, of course, too, for Thompson. Liquid can't fight it. They are just far too strong on OG right now. Their only hope is with the black hole and the Ravage, and we even last time, it was exactly as you said it would. If Wukong's command is down, BKB Black Hole is not going to last long enough. And even if it did, they just do not have the damage right now to kill these heroes. They're too tanky. And like I said, to a Seb, right? Seb in the back line, just here going to heal everybody with that Guardian Angel. He's already trying to pull the wave away they from saw in, but they're chasing. So we are. And, and there's the top. Jax is over. There's the E-Blade combo coming out. A GA to celebrate as the fight continues down bottom, making sure that no doubt doesn't go down. The two of them soul bound together. Anna's in with the change. Bradley strikes down on a miracle. Miracle cannot get out of this one alive. He's dead without buyback. My control as well. The chase never ends from OG. You have to imagine they, they tap out of this one pretty soon as OG. 31,000 gold lead. So many different items picked up. They're cleaning up the last racks. Dagon even picked up the no tail. He's blocked the BKP. He's going to go for the black hole on the two of them. Doesn't the pop down. In fact, gets Anna as well for that round. But they just don't take any damage at all. She, she is called. The suffering will finally come to a for Liquid in this game too. As OG take the victory. One to one now in this best of five grand finals. And Liquid, oh, they've got to be feeling pretty shaken up after that game. OG coming into this game too, showing why they are the defending champions from last year. This is one of the most dominant games we've had in a grand finals. It, it nothing, nothing.